one other question that I got from Discord is um, overthinking, but I think this a lot of people can relate to this type of overthinking. So I'll give you the full question and the context first. Hi guys, I have a huge question about my life, like goal in life. My goal in life is to publish the story that I like to the whole world and I hope people love my story. It sounds like my goal of life is to please people, want to get attention and love from people. But I'm not sure if I'm overthinking and judging too much of my goal. But here's the reason I stop. Do I enjoy story writing? Or do I want to please myself and prove myself somehow? Do I want to continue story writing? Is there a right mindset I should have while facing this like goal of my life? And um, I think this is the part where a lot of people can relate to, right? Like this idea of, okay, so am I doing the right thing? I think I'm doing it with the right intention, but like, what if it's not, right? And um, to give you the quick answer of how I answered this question is, uh, whenever I think about, you know, uh, is this people pleasing or not, or whenever I think, think about what I genuinely want or not is I think of the scenario where what if no one's out there who is gonna do this what if I do this and no one's gonna care what if I release a new offering and then nobody buys it what if I make this video and nobody watches it even then am I going to make it even then am I going to do it then I do it and because why it's not dependent on other people. It's just something that I want to do, right? So suppose nobody wants to game with me. Am I still going to play a game? Yeah, I love video games. That's how I know, right? So um, if your uh, life goals seem like it's dependent on other people, a quick way to evaluate it is, would I do this if no one was there? Would I do this if no one gave me the approval that I wanted? Would, you know, if the, that approval that I would like to get, am I still going to do it? And that's sort of how I feel about YouTube, right? That's how I feel about um, live streaming um, like this. So I don't care if people watch it. I'm just doing it for me. And that's why I do it. And uh, it's nice to kind of think of, oh, it's nice to think about this thing from this perspective because when other people and external influences keep driving your decision making, the more and more you do it, the more you lose your will and your initiative on life. And the more you start living for other people, the less enjoyable it becomes to live for you. Because you keep finding yourself doing things to please other people. And you know what? I'm gonna admit, I was the biggest people pleaser in the world too, right? So I understand that when other people are pleased with you and they're happy with you, it feels super nice. But I think I talked about this a few times before, like the biggest tears I have cried when I was a, when I'm, um, in, in, when I'm the client in my coaching sessions is when I recognize that I was not living my life for myself. And the amount of regret that I felt when I remembered all these moments I made decisions to satisfy other people, that's such a profound sense of grief. That's such a profound sense of regret. And that's something I genuinely would not wish on anyone. So I would recommend that, you know, like, um, live for you and do things for yourself and you know what i'm not saying don't ever do anything for other people of course you can be charitable and things like that right but the primary the primary decision maker in your life has to be you and um yeah that's about it say hello to my dog right here <laughs>